I've read that my tooth and gum pain could be related to menopause. Is there a connection? That's from Carolyn. Yes, <gasps> there is. Mm. And let me tell you why. First of all, let's look big picture. When a woman is, let's say, 40, 45, any time in their 40s, maybe up to 10 years before official menopause, literally anything that that woman experiences head to toe, assume that it is perimenopausal or menopausally related until proven otherwise. Now, there's, this isn't just a theory. Let's talk about how oral health can be impacted by hormonal changes of menopause. Vascular, big changes in blood flow to the gum um, all over the body with a drop in progesterone and estrogen levels. Bone loss happens around menopause. Mm. And then inflammation, an inflammatory shift that is triggered by a hormonal change. We know these things take place. Most people don't think to ask a woman what's going on in your mouth uh, as they're getting close to menopause. And most oral health specialists, dentists, oral surgeons, don't think to connect the dots either. This is a great question. And a time when you need to advocate for yourself. And head to toe. You need to be on the lookout for anything that pops up and connecting those dots. This might be due to menopause. Yeah, everything is menopause's fault. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Your prescription for wellness. All right. Uh, inspired by our good friend here, DeMarco, who um, you know tells us you're sensitive to allergies, mm -hmm. and especially since you moved from West Coast to the East Coast. So some tips on how to deal with those indoor allergies wherever you're living in the country. Number one, yes, clean more. Dust and vacuum frequently. Uh, that is your environment, so anything in your environment can be a trigger. Wash your bedding weekly in hot water to kill any type of dust mites or uh, potential allergens on your bedding. And controlling your humidity in the bathroom and the kitchen is a big mm. one. You don't want mold to grow in those places, even if it's microscopic. And then consider an air purifier. This yep. is a Even big told one. Me to get one. I yeah. should have gotten you one for the holidays. Oh. Um, but people, you should have one in your bedroom. You should have one in any room that you're spending a lot of time in. Um, it can make a big difference. And the one that you have in your dressing room, it has an alarm that yeah, goes off. It turns red. Yeah. yeah. And the air goes bad. So when we spray the hairspray, yeah, it's it goes red, red right away. All right, I'm on it. I'm on it, ladies. <laughs> okay. And folks, we'd love to hear from you. So hit us up on Instagram with all of your medical questions for America's favorite doctor, Dr. Janet, ABC GMA3. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.